My name is Michael Ladin. I am currently driving more than 220,000 miles around the world in my 1979 Mercedes Unimog and custom-built Overland Expedition trailer. This is my story. And that's how it was at the end. The Mercedes Unimog and Overland Expedition trailer departed for a long journey across the United States from New England to Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, thankfully, the new owners are super excited. I'm super excited that it went to a great family. And, uh, you know, I'm going to miss the Unimog for sure. Uh, and certainly for the past year on the road, uh, both the Unimog and the trailer have been sort of attached at the hip with me. And uh, anyways, but you guys are not here today to talk about what went on last year. We are here to talk about the new Overland Expedition rig, which is right over there. So today I'm going to introduce you to the new truck, talk about it a little bit, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, I'm super excited. So I'm in Gloucester, Massachusetts now. Uh, I am back on the road and living full-time in the new Overland truck. And I know I disappeared for like a month and a half, almost two months. Uh, and that was largely because with the Unimog going away, uh, I needed to find and finish my new house. And uh, that was kind of stressful and it was 18 hour days. Uh, a big thank you to everybody out there. Thank you to my friend Joanne. Uh, for assisting uh, countless times uh, you know, using her backyard and, and running to Home Depot and everything else. Um, and all the other people that pitched in uh, Atlas Metalworks in South Windsor, Connecticut for doing some of my metal stuff. And, um, and, and all you guys out there in, uh, you know, cyber world here uh, for being patient and uh, waiting because I know I said I was going to release the uh, information on the new rig uh, probably weeks, maybe not, maybe even months ago. So here we are, and that's what's gonna happen today. Now I mentioned in the last video kind of my reasons for switching out vehicles, uh, sort of mid-trip. And obviously, if COVID-19 had not occurred, I would probably be somewhere in Central or South America right now with the Unimog and Overland Expedition trailer. But after, um, and next week is gonna be officially an entire 365 days on the road for me. Um, I realized that I didn't have enough space, and that was sort of the main uh, motivation, I guess, between switching vehicles. And with the opportunity um, with COVID and the borders being closed, it kind of gave me a chance to reset, uh, and a truck had popped up um, on the internet that I was interested in, and one thing led to another, and make a long story short, I ended up buying it back in December, and... Uh, and I guess, you know, part of it, honestly, is I like to do projects. And with uh, sort of the situation where I can't cross any borders, um, it gave me some time to do another project. Uh, and anyways, so that's what's come together uh, with the new truck. So let's talk about that. And uh, I will pan that camera around and show you some footage of the new vehicle. And let's talk about that.
All right, so that's the exterior tour of the new Storton Stevenson LMTV Overland Expedition rig. Now, I know there's some of you guys out there that are gonna be like, hey, you know, we really like that Unimog and we like the trailer and I know. And there's probably some of you out there that are like, that's really cool. So I get it, everybody has a different thing. So my motivation, as I have stated before, is this has about 135 square feet of living space inside where that trailer, mm, we were pushing about, I don't know, maybe 80, uh, 75. So this gives me the opportunity to be able to be a little bit more mobile. Um, I don't have to have nearly as much take up, uh, take down, uh, you know, moving in and out of camp can be a little bit challenging uh, with a trailer. And on top of that, the, the setup, this rig here has a full kitchen inside. Uh, and that's something that I did not have before with the trailer. And it makes a big difference, particularly when it's crappy weather uh, or you just have, you're short on time, you don't have a lot of time to set up your exterior gear. Um, I have found with this truck, I can move in and out of camp in probably less than five minutes. So that is a big advantage. Other comparisons between the Unimog and this vehicle. Um, believe it or not, the height is about the same. This truck is about 11 foot, 11 inches from ground to the top. The Unimog was actually about an inch taller with the bikes mounted on top. Now, as you probably saw from that video, my bikes are now mounted on the rear of this and they're not on the roof any longer. So height-wise, I'm about the same. Uh, this is a little bit heavier, but the advantages in driving it are the cab is way bigger, it's automatic transmission, it's air ride on the cab, it's, believe it or not, compared to the Unimog, it's like driving a Cadillac. So um, a lot less wear and tear on my body. Uh, and of course, after my little uh, episode with gashing my head and falling off the roof building this thing, um, I'm probably better off with a nice, cushy, comfy seat inside the cab. Uh, other differences, obviously, um, this truck has the ability to have the cab lifted up to work on the transmission and the engine. It's a very easy access to most of the mechanical parts, uh, which is a big deal, um, particularly when I'm on the road. Um, negatives, 12 years with the Unimog. I knew everything inside and out, and I custom built the trailer. I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about this truck. Um, I do know everything about the inside, and I know there's going to be a lot of questions going on. Uh, so where are you with the inside? What about inside the cab? All this uh, stuff. So I'm going to be showing you guys that too. Um, but at this point, the truck is about what I'm going to call 75% done. And if you watch very carefully on that video I just showed you, many of these lights and stuff are not actually hooked up yet. Uh, the, the, the roof has a, a beautiful open canvas for the solar system that's going to be being installed that has not been put in yet. Uh, and don't worry, I have shot a bunch of video, so I will be showing you guys some of the build process and uh, a bunch of stuff that went into the building, particularly inside the, the house, if you will. Um, big modifications to this truck, uh, mechanically and... Um, you know, structural wise, not much. This is pretty stock from the military at this point. Obviously spent a lot of time uh, with painting the outside, installing underbody boxes for storage. The big addition here is that, sort of I call it the bedroom wing on the back, there's an extra five feet added on to uh, the FMTV van body. Uh, and that gives me the opportunity to have that room for a bed. So unlike in the trailer where I had to kind of sort of put out the bed, this is permanent and it's always right there. So that was sort of the, probably the biggest modification um, to the structure of, uh, of this, as long as, as, in addition to obviously of building the, you know, the roof uh, rack for, the, for my boxes on the top and uh, some of the other things. I had to delete some windows. Um, and I added windows in the back for the bedroom. 
So that's kind of been what's going on. Um, we will be talking about this truck a lot more. And obviously, uh, I've been doing some road testing. It has, to answer some people's questions, I've done some off-road with it already. Uh, I have taken it out to do um, a bunch of different driving tests. Uh, it has, knock on steel, uh, performed very well so far. Um, in the future, I'm going to be doing a uh, gear upgrade uh, and a couple other, some, some big modifications. Um, the cab is getting... Uh, full air conditioning, so that's something I also did not have in the Unimog um, and In my living quarters. I have air conditioning now, too And I did not have that in the trailer. So a lot of changes a lot of getting used to I'm still kind of struggling inside uh, Every day I get up and I go where is this and where is that and you know trying to get the cabinets and storage organized um, So it's been a process and I've had to delete some of the things that I was carrying um, for the last year uh, simply because I just don't need them anymore, and then this truck requires some different things, some swap out of tools, etc., uh, etc. Et so, any case, I appreciate you guys watching. I just recently hit 15,000 subscribers on YouTube, so thank you very much for that. All right, so why don't we go inside and take a look at the living quarters of the new Overland Expedition rig? Wait a minute, we know that's not how it works. That, my friends, is for next episode. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the truck and tree symbol to your right. Once again, thanks and hope to see you soon.